Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English devotional. Let's begin in prayer. Lord God, I bless your holy name for this Monday that you have given us. Thank you for our life and our health. Thank you for seeing us through yet another week. Father, as we embark on our daily tasks, whether school or work, our jobs, our personal lives, our families, may we do all things to glorify and honor you. Father, I ask that you will show us the things in our life that you want us to change, that you are trying to transform. May we all have a heart that is tender towards your Holy Spirit. May we look for discernment and wisdom in you. Father, continue to be our strength and our refuge and our fortress. Father, continue to be our healer and our provider of all things. Father, be our guide, Lord. We invite you to our lives to guide us and direct us and transform us. Father, only you can do that work. But we are the clay in your hands, for you are the master potter. Use us and mold us, Lord, to be instruments for your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Jochebed. It was written by Merari Martinez and translated by Nelson Berries. Our biblical base comes from Exodus chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. So says the word of God. And a man of the house of Levi went and took as a wife a daughter of Levi. So the woman conceived and bore a son. And when she saw that he was a beautiful child, she hid him three months. But when she could no longer hide him, she took an ark of bulrushes for him, daubed it with asphalt and pitch, put the child in it, and laid it in the reeds by the river's bank. And his sister stood afar off to know what would be done to him. Then the daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the river, and her maidens walked along the riverside, and when she saw the ark among the reeds, she sent her maid to get it. And when she opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the baby wept. So she had compassion on him and said, then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call a nurse for you from the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child for you? And the Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. So the maiden went and called the child's mother. Then Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away and nurse him for me, and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed him, and the child grew, and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. So she called his name Moses, saying, Because I drew him out of the water. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Today I want to talk about a woman who was a mother, and to me, a heroine, Jochebed. In her time, the king of Egypt had ordered the death of all newborn boys, and she was pregnant with her third child. I can imagine the inner struggle of that mother in whose long months of pregnancy, but her faith in God mixed with her motherly love worked wonders. When her son was born, she hid him for three months. We know this child as Moses. He was saved from the waters and grew up to be the great liberator of the people of God, all because his mother was close to him, planting sound teachings in his tender heart so that he feared, loved, and respected God. What great lessons we learn from Jochebed. We, as parents, have the most important task, that of educating our children with a good education that begins with our example at home. Let us do everything in our power to plant faith in God in their hearts, instilling in them the biblical values that we treasure, so that men and women who impact the world for Christ can come out of our families as those of Jochebed did. Amen. My brothers and sisters, what a beautiful example who had faith. Jochebed trusted God to protect her son against all odds, and that son grew to be the one who led the people of Israel out of slavery from the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. 
my brothers and sisters, Jochebed instilled a faith in God, their Hebrew roots into Moses as she helped to raise him. What we do for our children, we are called to train them up in the way of righteousness. What we teach them when they were little, they will never forget when they are an adult. My brothers and sisters, what a great service to the kingdom of heaven by raising our children in the fear of the Lord, the respect of the Lord, teaching them, training them to love the Lord and treasure the scripture in their heart. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. I could never speak it, but I didn't quit when they called me heretic. They mm-hmm. said I was too dangerous, so I stood with all the women at a distance.
Amen. What a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.